Hey there guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at the CSGO benchmark once more, but this time I'm running on the latest operating systems that I can get my hands on, and we are using the Intel HD 4000 graphics, which is integrated graphics. Everything is set to low, and I'm running the game at 1920x1080p, we're going to be putting this against Windows 8.1 64-bit, against the latest, still under development, Ubuntu 15.04 64-bit. The reason I'm using Ubuntu 15.04 is because you can only use the open source drivers for Intel graphics on Linux. So the best way to get the latest is to use the latest version of Ubuntu, even if it's in development. And also the OIBAF PPA. So on the left is Ubuntu 15.04 and on the right is Windows 8.1. It's been, I think, a little over a year since I last did any tests on my Intel graphics hardware. This is still one of the higher end intel graphics cards that are offered well it's not really a graphics card it's integrated with the cpu so starting up both games i will be using the net graph instead of any sort of overlay or osd i couldn't get them to work the steam overlay is disabled for both games so the windows version does take quite a while to load as you'll see here i am starting the game up later in Ubuntu, although the initial startup of the game in Ubuntu is slower, I think it's due to the compiling of shaders. One thing that is a disappointment that we're going to see in a moment is that uh, right off the bat, if you can see here, we're already edging a 30 frames per second difference and right there, there was a hang in the Intel graphics driver and it's going to happen again and again and again after this and it's very disappointing to see this performance is basically where it left off a year ago We're looking at it drop below 20 on Ubuntu here while the Windows side is at 60 and above I cannot comprehend why Intel has such a hard time trying to increase the performance of their Linux driver they don't even have full OpenGL 4 support yet they're not gonna have OpenGL 4 they should at least have suitable performance but we're not seeing that here it may be a bit difficult to see, but we are seeing 90 frames plus on the Windows side while Ubuntu is edging at 50 and when things start to get hectic or we shoot the gun, you're going to see it drop below 20 while Windows stays a very solid 60 FPS and above. This is in stark contrast here and this is a competitive game so it is very hard to try and pitch this to other Linux users who are running Intel hardware because obviously they're not going to be getting the best out of their hardware. And this is not the fault of Linux, this is the fault of Intel providing really subpar drivers here. Many of the other games that I've tried still offer black textures. It may not be completely black screens, but still black textures. I don't, I just, it feels like Intel doesn't care at all. The performance here is so huge. The difference is 30 to 50 frames per second with Windows leading. Not to mention the Windows driver has OpenGL for context support fully on a platform that directly uses Direct3D. Yet the platform that uses OpenGL exclusively, which is Linux, we don't even have OpenGL 4 completely. Although they are getting there, it's been what, over a year? Can you imagine this sort of level of support on Windows? If it was like this, people would be boycotting Intel. Once again, you see that the Intel driver actually hangs there for about a second or two. This happens almost every time you die, with some cases where you die it doesn't happen. So while you could play the game, yes it renders and doesn't seem to have graphical glitches, at least CSGO doesn't have graphical glitches, the performance is abysmal. This is a really bad picture to paint for Linux overall. If you're using Intel hardware, please let me know what your experiences are. This is the latest Mesa 10.5.0 in development. On I, I obtained it through the OIBAF PPA. Yeah, this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. We're looking at 20, 30. It goes up when you don't need it to go up. When you've got enemies in front of you want to shoot them, it goes down a heck of a lot here. So sadly this video is going to be disappointing to a lot of Linux gamers, especially if you're on Intel hardware. 
This is why I usually state in my videos that run NVIDIA, you're not going to be seeing the same things if you're running on Intel hardware. With the rate that this is going, I'm not sure how long it's going to be before we actually get suitable drivers from Intel, if ever. They're already coming out with their Broadwell, and I'm not sure if they're going to continue supporting this Haswell chip. If they leave it at this, it's very disappointing. So we've pretty much come to the end of the benchmark and we are seeing at the end of the benchmark a good 40 frames per second difference here with Windows in the lead even when we're not moving anything on the screen. Very disappointing. So what the conclusions that we can draw from this right now at least with CSGO and in my user case is that the Intel open source drive is so far behind Windows in terms of performance. Although there weren't graphical glitches, we did see the game hang multiple times. It may be only a second or two difference, but when you're actually going against other people in a match, it makes a difference. So, when running Intel graphics hardware, the integrated stuff, you're going to notice that Intel pretty much favors Windows a lot more. Their drivers are complete, they have full OpenGL support, and us Linux users are pretty much left in the dust here with really subpar performance. You can't, I wouldn't recommend gaming on Intel hardware if you have it and you're running Linux. It's just not suitable right now. So that is it for this video guys. Uh, it really irks me that the Windows driver has OpenGL 4 complete support while we still don't have that on Linux. We don't even have proper performance. Sorry if this video is disappointing. Uh, I hope it sheds a bit of light on where the Intel driver performance is right now with the open source drivers. Disappointing, but it's the truth. It's better that we come to terms with it than pretending it doesn't exist. I hope this video was useful to you in one way or another, and thank you for watching.